Hello Year 7 and welcome to another lesson. As a starter task, I'd like you to answer these five questions. Who did Gerald travel to Wales with? Why did Gerald journey through Wales? Name one cathedral that Gerald visited in Wales. Who did Gerald of Wales teach? And what year did Gerald of Wales die? You can answer these questions in the worksheet that's been uploaded for you. Or you can write them on paper, in your school books, or on, a or on a Word document. So pause the video now and answer those questions for me. You're back now from answering those questions, so we shall go on. Gerald of Wales and his writings about Wales. So this lesson's about what he wrote about Wales and the people of Wales. Your lesson objectives for this lesson are to know what Gerald of Wales wrote about the country of Wales, to know what Gerald of Wales wrote about the people of Wales, and to successfully complete a sphere task. The writings by Gerald. During his life, Gerald made 18 writings, including several stories, a book about the life of St. David, the Saint of Wales, and even his own autobiography. But Gerald of Wales' most famous writings are the ones he wrote about during his travels to Ireland and his travels to Wales. Gerald wrote two books about his journey through Wales, Itinerarium Cambrai, which is Itinerary of Wales or Journey Through Wales, in, which was released or published in 1191, and then Descriptio Cambrai, Descriptions of Wales, which was published in 1194. <clears throat> so what did Gerald write in these books? Well, here are seven quotes from him displayed on the screen. And your first task of this lesson is to answer the two questions on the right hand side. They're up on the worksheet as well. And again, you can do them in your workbooks on paper or in a Word document. The first question is, do you think Gerald liked the Welsh people? And if you did or didn't, explain why. And the second question is, using these quotes, write a paragraph on how Gerald describes Welsh people. So use the quotes that are on screen. So if you'd like to pause the video now and complete that task. back now from finishing that task. So spear categories. Historians like to categorize things into different categories. An example of doing this is what historians call spear categories. So spear categories stand for social, which is how people lived in everyday life, how they interacted with each other, and talked to each other and dealt with each other and what they did with each other. The P is political, so how the country was ruled, who was ruling the country, the laws that were introduced. The E is economic, things to do with money, so how money was run in the country, who held all the money, how the country made more money. The A is artistic, so these are things to do with creativity or how things are made, such as music, what, what instruments did people play, what type of art people did. And the final letter, R, is for religious, the things that people believed in. So task two, is these are all quotes and things that Gerald had said in his book about Wales and the people of Wales. So a reminder on the right hand side here is what those spear letters me stand for and mean. And your task for this is I want you to color code, as you can see at the top of the sheet, <coughs> the letters there with a the box of them, I would like you to insert five different colors there and then color code each of these things that Gerald has said, depending on whether they are social, political, economic, artistic, or religious. 
So for example, the first one, Wales was a disunited country made up of many kingdoms, e.g. Gwynedd and De Haybarth. This would come under political because it was how the country was ruled. And so the next one was most Welsh women cut their hair short in 1188. Most men, Welsh men, had moustaches. So this would be social. It's how the people lived on everyday life. So if you'd like to pause the video now and go and complete that task for me. You should be back now from completing task two. And our final task of the lesson is, you are writing a book to tell people about Wales and the Welsh people. What are you going to say about them? Write down three things you could write about Welsh people and the country of Wales. There's a box for this on the worksheet that's been uploaded. And you can also do it on paper or in your school books again. So this is the last task of the lesson. So I will see you next time and thank you for working hard.